Hello, my name is Alfonsine Anderson. I'm a Cisco Technical Solutions Architect. In this video, we'll go over how Cisco DNA Center helps manage and budget POE needs. POE technology continues to empower digital transformation. The increase to 90 watts makes it possible to onboard power-hungry IoT devices, enables smart building systems, and so much more. Part of the Cisco Cat 90K switches or UPOE Plus, a range of newer powered devices can now be on the network without changing existing Ethernet cabling. However, understanding POE needs and issues across the network becomes a challenge. I will go over how Cisco DNA Center tackles this through POE analytics powered by Cisco DNA Assurance. Now let's head over to DNA Center. When you first log into DNA Center, this is the main page. You would want to go to the main menu, uh, find Assurance, and find a POE under Dashboard. Here's how the, pay, the POE page will look like. The first two things you would want to do is select which site you would want to look at, which I'm leaving to global, and choose the time range you also want to look at, which I'm going to leave it to 24 hours. You will see a good insight here that tells you uh, which platforms are supported on by this feature and the minimum uh, software versions recommended. You would also need to enable NetConf on devices prior to discovering them in DNA Center. So when you scroll down, you will see five dashlets where three are specific to the POE devices when the bottom two are specific to switches are powering them. The first dashlet shows you the total summary of all devices you have that are POE uh, capable where you can be able to click on this and look at details. Uh, you're able to see what type of uh, device this is. This is uh, a sensor, a wireless sensor. Uh, you're able to see where it's connected, which switch it's connected to, what site is at, and how much power it is drawing. You would also be able to see that I have one device that is faulty, where you can be able to go to that specific switch and go to the support and be able to diagnose what's happening with that device. Another second tab that all dashlets have is that you are able to look at trends to see how your devices have been doing over time that you selected in this scenario 24 hours. The second dashlet shows you the uh, how power is distributed among those powered devices. You have uh, multiple options that you can choose that in each selection, you're able to click on this uh, bar to be able to look at details and be able to look at what devices and where they are and what allocated power. Um, which is really good view. The third dashlet shows you what type of power POE is distributed. When you click on uh, on view details, again here you have multiple choices where you can be able to see which type of POE devices you have. Um, are they IEEE compliant, which all my devices are, and you are able to click on the bar to be able to see which is unified APs that I have and uh, a little bit of details uh, on them uh, from the inside perspective. The fourth dashlet will show you how many switches that you have and uh, how much power load they have on them by looking on details, view details, and you can click on them uh, on the bar. It will show you that detail and you're able to scroll down and look at it. The last thing that you are able to see, it's all your power budgeting or POE power usage. You can see that I have a total at 1.33 kilowatt, where I'm able to see able to see how much power that I have consumed, that my devices have consumed, and uh, what the remaining power. You are also able to click on the switch and it will take you to device 360, where you can go and be able to view all details of devices connected to that specific switch. Hopefully from this, you are able to learn uh, how you can use DNA Center to manage your POE needs. Uh, thank you for watching.